Hey, John from BreckGage here, walking you through a quick tutorial of how to use layers and calculated metrics within your gauges. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is start with uh, a simple gauge. Here we're looking at tickets opened previous week. Uh, for this example, we're going to try to actually calculate tickets per endpoint by uh, taking advantage of the layers and the calculated metrics. Now you can see here I'm using a ticket statistics uh, data set. I'm doing a count of uh, tickets here as the measure, and my filter is date opened for previous week. Now to add a layer, bring in some additional information, I can click this green plus button. Now you can see I have a couple of options right off the bat. When I click that green plus button, I can either right away add a calculated metric or just add a brand new layer. Now when I select new layer, it gives me three options, either to clone this current layer, uh, have a new layer with a that is blank, but using the same ticket statistics data set, or uh, do a new layer that is blank using a completely different data set. Now you can see here, if I clone this current layer, you can see it adds a second column here um, that looks exactly the same as the first one, although we know that's not really what we want. Uh, so if we wanted to go back and actually remove this layer, we just simply click on this totem pole and then select the remove option. Now we'll come up here, and since I'm doing tickets per endpoint, I know that uh, I need to bring in some data for that uh, the total count of endpoints. So I'll go to new layer, and I'm gonna do a blank layer with a new data set. Now that'll open up this pick a data set uh, module here. Uh, pull open the first drop down menu, and I'll select continuum as my RMM. And here when we wanna select the data set we're gonna use, we're actually gonna use this machine statistics data set. I'll click continue, and you can see it appears that we've broken the gauge. Uh, this is simply appearing just because we don't have any information being pulled in from the data set yet. So what I'll do is I'll come over here, I'll pull over my blue ID pill, drop it in measure, and do a count. And now I know I'm doing a count of the endpoints coming in from that machine statistics data set. Uh, if you wanted to focus just solely on a server or workstation, you could always pull over this machine type filter, uh, drop it here, and select the proper, uh, the proper field that you need. But we're going to use all endpoints in this example. And then now I need to do the calculation to do tickets per endpoint. So I'll come back up to the top where the layers live. I'll click this green plus button and select calculated metric. Now when you select calculated metric, you'll see this formula bar up here at the top. This is where we're going to enter that formula to uh, get that tickets per endpoint number. We'll start with our ticket count, drag it and drop it. Next we're going to pull over our uh, operator, which is the division symbol, and we'll put that right after ticket number count. And then we're going to pull over the count of our endpoints. So here this reads ticket per endpoint, and you can see that it gives us this number here, this calculated metric. Now we only want to focus on the calculated metric, so in these layers, when you click on the totem poles, we actually can hide them. So I'll hide that uh, count of endpoints here. Now I'll hide the count of tickets. And I can actually turn this into a number gauge now. And now we have tickets per endpoint last week. So I hope that this made sense for you. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team at support at brightgauge.com.